Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome, everybody, to Celebrating Act 2, our fabulous weekly, what do we call it, Art Founders Vlog? Vlog. Art Curse, John sure. Coleman, the founders of Celebrating Act 2, yes. waxing poetic on something really important. Yeah, your weekly fix of Art and John. <laughs> <laughs> What what's important today? Well, John, have you set your clocks back? Because I was a little concerned about you wanting to change the time of this recording this morning. Set my clock back. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but, but by the way, um, after, is it just? Well, go ahead. So I mean, what what's happening in your world that now that have you? By the way, have you set it back? Well, yeah, I, actually, I'm one of those people that every year gets up and, you know, that everything seems to be off kilter some little way until I realize I didn't set the clocks back. Or it's even worse, setting the clocks forward. I don't know. Well, I have, and, I have this great atomic uh, reminder, uh, yeah. my wife, Linda, who <laughs> says, you know, we have to set the clocks back tonight. So I go in the garage and I set the clock uh, sometime late in the uh, the evening before, um, uh, it's got a battery in it and, and it replaces it every couple of years. So I set that back. And then, um, uh, sometime, uh, uh, before we go to bed, Linda is in charge of the microwave and the stove, uh, right. setting those back. And, um, uh, then I have a little, uh, uh, battery operated clock, which I hardly ever use. It sits in a drawer and that's always a good time to find out if the battery is still working. I set that back, and the car yeah. and the cars and the computers and the phones all do it by themselves. Isn't that wonderful yeah. that they do that? Yeah. So that's what saves me, I think, is yeah. when I finally get on the computer or something like that. And, um, but you know, it, it's interesting. Uh, this year, uh, setting the clocks back was the day after Halloween. And you, my recollection is that it's usually we set the clocks back. Oh, I don't know, two or three days before Halloween. It's just the way. What's well, the way Halloween? Halloween falls. Yeah. Falls because sometimes but, then Halloween falls during the middle of the week. It's always on a a, a Sunday morning, two a.m. Right. Goes back sure. to one, so it doesn't when matter. Most, right. Yeah, when most people can be an hour earlier or an hour late, and nobody cares. You know, I guess that Halloween and the night of setting the clocks back happens once in a blue moon. It was, no. a, it was a blue moon, yeah. wasn't it? Well, I don't know. Yeah, it was. I, it I, was Saturday night. Was I, if moon. I knew what to, when what night to set the clocks back, I'd know when a blue moon so was. If so you I'm watch Saturday do. Night Live, every 30 years, I think Halloween falls on a blue moon. But anyway. Oh, okay. So anyway, so you got your clocks back. So th there was no real excuse this morning for why, no. you, for, for why you were two or three minutes tardy. Just because it's Monday or it's Thursday. So, so what what changes in your life because your the clocks have been set back? Well, the big thing for me is it gets dark earlier. Yeah. Uh, that's why I was commenting about it. it it's coincidence with um, Halloween, is because I always associate uh, Halloween in the darker days. In other words, it gets dark early, and then we have Halloween. Um, Set the clocks back, get stuck early, we have Halloween. So th I thought that was unusual this year. Um, but I noticed that the next day, um, right away, uh, what was it, Sunday the 1st, I noticed the, the, the sky getting dark at 5 o'clock instead of 6 o'clock. Well, I would so, think that it would affect you more than most people because don't you have uh, uh, chickens and trees and, and stuff like that? that do, don't, the, do they react differently to uh, the You time? bet they do. You bet they do. They they know. I don't know, but they know. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other thing is people react differently, too, I think. Uh, it, it, that, there's this whole week now when a lot of people are still getting adjusted to the time difference. And it it's uh, – I, I don't know if it's psychological. It might be physical. You know, we do react to light. The, uh, the question is, what, so. did it start because they, we needed more daylight because kids were going on buses to schools or – did we need it because of the farming community needed more daylight to harvest stuff? Do we know why we have daylight every time? You know, that that's what I heard as a kid. It was, it was done for the farmers so they could get, and maybe the kids get the bus driver, mm -hmm. you know. 
but it, all it does is it shifts it an hour. It right. doesn't change anything. It doesn't add an hour. It doesn't subtract an hour. It just shifts it. As a matter of, and, as a matter uh, of fact, some places. Me, I'd rather sleep in. I'd yeah. rather sleep in and have the hour in the afternoon. Uh, and some places, uh, and then you ha you have the reverse issue when uh, uh, you spring ahead and you change it back to right. what it was. And I know there are some places, even in in uh, the U.S., where they've done away with it. Um, yeah, uh, like uh, I think uh, Arizona or Nevada. No, Arizona. Right. Arizona for sure. Has, Might be Arizona. Yeah. Right, and uh, I always thought that we should do away with it, or to ease the transition, maybe over a period of four or five weeks. Uh, uh, set the clock back like 15 minutes a, a week. So, <laughs> so you have to go around the house every well, day for a week, well, thinking, changing all those little clocks. No, I'm thinking no, no. of you, John. No. So it's not such a shock <laughs> to your system yeah. of a full hour. Maybe that would be a better way of doing it. So, so, so listen, I'm, I'm, advocating, I'm advocating two things. We get okay. rid of daylight savings time. Just leave okay, it on I'm standard with that. time. And get rid of pennies like they've done in Australia 30, 40 years ago. No, oh, I love pennies. Yeah, well, no, we'll give you all the pennies, okay? Oh, okay. As a matter of fact, it would be perfect for you and Penny. You get all the pennies. We'll have so all like the pennies, a name, yeah. As a namesake. Do you know the reason they want to get rid of all the pennies is there's more copper. The copper in the penny is worth more than the penny is. Right. A interesting state of affairs, well, actually, I think. Well, what actually, what they did in Australia had nothing to do. Uh, I don't think their pennies were made out of copper particularly. Uh, right. I happen to have a... a, a assignment that kept me there for a, a year and a half, the better part of a year and a half, about uh, 20 years ago. And um, they had already done away with the penny and they would just round it down or round it up. Sure. Uh, and all and the, it all comes, it all comes out. And it, sooner all, or it all comes out and they made the, the transition and you just got rid of all these ho horrendous number of coins that really nothing could buy. You can't even go get a penny piece of gum anymore. You know, it used to be. That's uh, right. You had a, the only thing pennies are good for is putting in those machines where they squash it and make it a a, a charm of some kind. A souvenir. Yeah, yeah. yeah you visited Hoover Dam. Uh, All right, I want to I want to get us onto a more important subject. Is there uh, something that, more important than 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 uh, the changing of the clock? Uh, yes, believe wow. it or not. Well, it relates to it, and that is that people. Uh, this is this is a transitional time. All of a sudden. Um, when you change the clocks, you know, and it gets darker earlier, you know that the holidays are here. So this is the official beginning of the holiday season. Uh -huh. And uh, I know the, the stores have been putting out Christmas stuff for weeks, right? Just like they put out Halloween stuff in January and uh, yeah, they in don't, September. They don't even wait for Thanksgiving anymore to put up all the Christmas decorations. Oh, absolutely <laughs> not. You know, you can have Christmas and Thanksgiving side by side. Right. But the point is, it's now holiday season. And this will last for really two months until what? January, mm. mid-January. So uh, the problem, my my recognition of holiday season is that there's unfortunately a lot of seniors who get depressed during the holidays. They're alone. They can't stand the bright lights and the bubbly and the lights blinking and the, the celebration constantly going around, everybody being happy and bubbly. You know, that's depressing in itself. But there's a lot of depression during the holiday season. So my caution to everybody who's watching Celebrating Act Two is to be aware of that, that some people are go into a funk. Let's put it that well, way. And I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to because uh, I know that you're so kind hearted and that you would open up your, your home to all of these people. Uh, I'm going to post with this video your home address. So the people, Good. no, no, yeah. no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to offer to everybody who is uh, watching us, who is going to get depressed to send us a note and John and I will put together either a Skype or a Zoom get together with you. Okay? There you go. So I don't, I don't care whether it's just one or two of you or whether it's a hundred thousand of you, Right. we will put together a, uh, a Skype or a Zoom meeting, uh, and maybe we'll have a few of them, and then we could just sit with you and, and talk to you and, and make you as, as, uh, as uh, uh, unawaringly happy as we are. Yes. Yes. Share the, share the joy. Share the joy. Or maybe the boredom, depending on how we Skype that day. You know, you never know. So I think that's enough for today because 
Oh, well, I think it's. We're I've way, lost my we're, joy. We're way, talking to you, Art. <laughs> well, we're way over our allotment of time to waste. But if we and weren't happiness. doing this, if we weren't doing this, we'd probably be pretty depressed thinking about what we'd be doing with this valuable time. <laughs> yes. So let's let's enjoy the early sunset. Ah, early sunset. Late. Okay. Late, early. See you. Listen, everybody, take care of each other. That's the important thing. And if you All haven't right? set your clock back, um, uh, <laughs> get rid of this video right now and, and set your clock back because you, yeah, you, and, you blew and, it. You're probably about a week lost by now. And and send us all your extra Halloween candy. Oh, no, send it to John, particularly the, the candy corn. He loves candy corn. Oh, yeah. No, I want the chocolate stuff. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Goodbye. We'll see you soon. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.